Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Chakde with Knowledge. This is the only channel where you get all the important updates about banking. So, today we will discuss with you an important letter of All India Bank Officers Association for pension updation in line with the Zab Bank of India. The letter is issued by Bank Officers Union AIBOA on 5 July 2022. and the subject of the letter is updation of pension on the lines of rbi brooks no delay let's discuss the content of the letter public sector bank work flows except global bank sbi is governed by the bank employees pension regulation 1995 the above exercise was preceded by an agreement signed on 29th october 1993 under the industrial disputes act 1947 1957 by the first trade union of banking workforce founded in pre independent india equally our organization also signed the minutes of understanding on the same day at mumbai the contents of the settlement were in the lines of rbi As per clause six of the settlement signed on twenty ninth October nineteen ninety three, reads as under: DNS relief to pensioners will be granted at such rates as may be determined from time to time in line with the DNS allowance formula in operations in Reserve Bank of India. Further, clause twelve of the said settlement states that. provisions will be made by a scheme to be negotiated and settled between the parties to this settlement by 31st december 1993 for applicability qualifying service amount of pension payment of pension communication of pension family pension updating and other general conditions etc on the lines as are in force in reserve bank of india The said settlement is further elaborated by a supplementary settlement dated 24th March 1994 between IBA and the negotiating unions and these provisions agreed to were reiterated equating the provisions with the scheme in operation in RBI and was agreed to be bedrock of the settlement during the interim period two important developments took place The first one was introduction of a special voluntary retirement scheme introduced in 2001 and another one was the achievement of one more option on the same terms and condition of 1993 in the year 2010 it was agreed by the negotiating unions after the actuarial exercise conducted by two experts uh, one from hyderabad and other from kolkata Rupees six thousand crore was the deficit, and rupees forty two hundred crores was uh, diverted to pension fund, and the PF subscriber had contributed rupees eighteen hundred crores to join the pension scheme. Their deficit was made good in two thousand ten itself. The regulation eleven of the pension regulation nineteen ninety five reads as under. The bank shall cause on investigation to be made by an actuary into the financial condition of the fund every financial year on the thirty-first day of March and make such additional annual contribution to the fund as may be required to secure payment of the benefits under these regulations. It has been categorically committed by IBA in the supplementary minutes of discussion on. 4 January 2021 that an actuary was appointed to evaluating the requirements 18 months are over there is no information on the score provided by the IBA so far apart this a certificate from the actuary confirming should be obtained about the yearly provisions were made by the banks without any deviation to confirm that the regulation 11 of bank employees pension regulation 1995 from 2010 to 2022 as per the data available based on the balance sheet of the various banks the pension fund as on 
31 March 2021 was rupees 19 lakh 4164 crores excluding the SBI pension fund corpus of rupees 12 lakh 5806 crores to an unstar question in the parliament the ministry of corporate affairs submitted that the outstanding in the 43 accounts above rupees 2500 crores was nearly rupees 43 lakh 3000 crore and nclt awarded settlement for nearly rupees 1 lakh crore uh, for every rupees 100 outstanding the waiver on all haircut was rupees 78 the loan losses were are adjusted from the profit earned by the banks it has been held by the courts as pension as well known is not a boundary it is treated to be deferred salary it is akin to right of property it is correlated and has a nexus with the salary payable to the employees as on the date of retirement honorable finance minister government of india openly declared in a press meet held at chennai in 2020 that updation of pension of bank retirees would also be addressed suitably as that of one rank one pension in the defense services the present stand pursued in the current discussion held couple of days on the updation of pension should be uh, revisited our organization is of the confirmed opinion that the updation should be on the lines rbi and the methodology uh, stipulated by the government why the letter dated 5th march 2019 should be strictly adhered to covering all the retirees taking the measure of da up to 4440 points further the pension in bank in shape of annuity from the pension fund corpus on long term investment there is no reason for subjecting it to taxation like salary income hence abrogation of pension on the lines of rbi brooks no delay and any deviation would add further complications we have already experienced so friends this was the content of the letter issued by bank officer union aiboa on 5th july 2022 if you have any questions or doubt you can ask me in comment section or you can mail me also and for more important videos like this please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so so see you in the next video thank you